Hello friends! Have you heard the latest on the LEGO Star Wars 2023 news? Well look no further because I am right here and in this video you're going to watch want to watch all the way to the end. Uh, we're covering also um, details on the upcoming UCS Razor Crest uh, towards the end of the video. If you're enjoying this video go ahead and drop it a like. Uh, if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more just like this. The first uh, minor little update is just on Slave 1. It's mostly just on like the the new details on what's on the box. We still know kind of what's in the set. It's going to be like 80, 82 pieces come with uh, the redesigned Mando Season 2 Book of Boba Fett, uh, Boba Fett minifigure, printed comma, that kind of stuff. No recoloring or anything like that, <coughs> unfortunately. But the box is now going to be a more geared towards Book of Boba Fett logo and have Fennec Shan and uh, Boba Fett. It's still going to be $10 and a cheap way to get that version of Boba Fett. Uh, not a bad one, but miscolored. And I will be doing, I have a, I still need to do the review on that slave one anyway. 75345 updates. What set is that? Uh, that is, of course, the new specialist. 501st Battle Pack. I think LEGO's just going to call it the 501st Battle Pack. The other one was 501st Clone Legion, so it's a different name. Uh, that one, of course, is leaving at the end of the year. Uh, there should be a link down in the description. I'll make sure that it's there. Uh, if you want to go ahead and grab yours off Amazon uh, while they're a little bit on sale and before they uh, leave the shelves. because Once the year ends, you won't find them. Guaranteed. Uh, this is more based off of Battlefront 2 from the 2017 game. Uh, so you have, it's going to come with three different classes and four clone troopers. So you're going to double up on one class of clone trooper. And so you can kind of build a nice, uh, well rounded 501st army. If you got a lot of these uh, clone legion battle packs, if you will, that just have mostly regular clones and the jet trooper. Uh, and then you add this, it's going to be a pretty good looking army. But uh, we have a lot of updates on it. We're going to have two heavy, one sniper, and one officer. Uh, we have roughly an idea of what they're going to kind of look like. Uh, so we're going to get the visor pack that we got with the ATTE uh, for the set the visors. And it's, it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah. But we're going to get two uh, visors for the heavy troopers. And then I have that. Uh, so they're going to have the holes in the helmets for the visors, um, slightly adjusted so those visors fit properly, like they did for the 212th, and they're not going to be in that accurate spot. Heavy troopers are going to have printed straps, uh, no backpacks or anything like that, like they do in Battlefront, uh, everything's going to be just going to be printed on. So they're going to have shoulder straps and printed, uh, symbolizing that they have, they're carrying bags or whatever, but... Uh, no physical bags on them. And they have white arms with no printing. Uh, Lego doesn't usually print arms, only on occasion when they really feel like it's deserved and they don't feel like it's deserved, I guess. Uh, I think they're gonna have the regular white uh, 501st legs. And then we have uh, the sniper specialists. Well, this is the first time we're getting uh, micro binoculars in form. They will clip into the helmet like the visors, um, a similar way, uh, they're going to fall right over o over the eyes, so pretty cool. Maybe the that hole on that helmet will be adjusted. I'm not really sure. I think the helmets are just going to look like 501st helmets. That wasn't said in the Promo Bricks article, but yeah. The Specialist and the Heavy Troopers are going to have the regular 501st legs. There's nothing special there. Uh, I think they're the same ones that we've gotten, or they're going to do an updated version of those. Uh, it doesn't specify. Then we have the officer who's going to have a rangefinder in the side of his helmet. He's going to have, uh, I think, regular printed torso? Yeah, he's going to have a regular printed torso, but his legs are going to be different. They're going to have printed uh, comma pieces, similar to like what we got with uh, the airborne trooper in the uh, Republic fighter tank or Echo, uh, just to name a couple, and it won't be a physical um, comma. It will just be printed. But now, what is the build? Um, we, we first heard about a month ago, Spider, spider Droid. I mean, it makes sense, four clones, they're gonna fight against a Spider Droid, okay. 
Uh, but that's actually not true. It looks like it's going to be a AV7 cannon, similar to the one that we got in... I think it's going to be sized uh, to the one that we got in that ARC Trooper Battle Pack back in 2015. One with two, I think it was an ARC Trooper, ARC Trooper, and two Commander Droids, and a mini AV7 build. I think it's going to be similar to size to that really scaled down, uh, and not like the Wolf Pack set that was like $40. Now the next set that's coming up, this is a set that we've been waiting for for 20 years. Uh, this has been rumored for a little bit, a month ago it was in that. Uh, the TIE Bomber. It's going to be recolored to the 2003 version, as all those TIE Fighters were blue and black. This one's going to be a gray and black, a little more accurate to the design. Uh, when it was first released we thought there's going to be three minifigures. Uh, this update comes that it's going to have four minifigures. A random figure that we are that hasn't really appeared in any mediums other than comics and books but nonetheless we're going to have four minifigures. So far we got Darth Vader, a TIE pilot, you need, you need a pilot, and a gonk droid. Don't understand the gonk droid but hey. And then the fourth one is an might just be called an officer, but it is supposed to be uh, Ray Sloan. Uh, so if you know, uh, if you read the comics and books that have her in it, uh, then you know who, who she is. I haven't, so I don't really know who she is, but I'm still excited that we're getting this. Uh, and the set is going to retail for $65. I think we thought it was going to be 60 but right now it's uh, 65 Four minifigures, a decent amount of pieces. Uh, definitely that fourth minifigure makes it a little worth the 65 I think. Uh, yeah, she might be called an Imperial Officer or she'll be named. I'm, I'm not sure what Lego's going to do here. Uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, January 1st. Now we have the mo more recent, or the upcoming set that's coming out in a, less than a month, just a couple weeks here, is the UCS Razor Crest. Um, if you're excited for it. Like, I'm excited that it's coming out. Uh, I won't be able to purchase it unfortunately um, I, I would love to it, it sounds really great um, but we have some new info uh, it's releasing October 3rd for VIPs only so if you're a part of the VIP club I do encourage you to do so it's it's free um, and you can grab sets early um, I'm a part of it you just earn points it, it's a pretty good program if you haven't heard of it and you can use those points to get uh, dollars off or save them up to get a free set like I've, you can get up to, you can just get a bunch of codes by using your VIP points. In the same way, uh, so if you're part of the VIP program, you'll be able to purchase uh, the Razor Crest on October 3rd. For those who don't have VIP, uh, October 8th will be uh, availability for the rest. Now, the price. We've heard a lot of different things about this, this price. Uh, first it was $500, okay. Uh, and then it was like 550, you know, but now it is going to be six hundred dollars for six thousand one hundred and eighty-seven pieces. So, um, yeah, I mean, it just is what it is. There's not much. I mean, I can say what I want about it, but it's not going to change the fact. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's a bad price. Six hundred dollars for six thousand pieces, not too too bad. But it it's definitely going to have big pieces in there. So. Um, there's been talk that, I mean, usually this UCS comes with gift of purchase, like last year's AT. AT came with, uh, uh, Luke's lightsaber? Luke's lightsaber. Uh, this year, uh, we haven't heard anything. Could be a dark saber brick build. That'd be really cool. In an accurate design, hopefully. Uh, but we don't know. Um, or if there is going to be any, maybe Lego's not doing it. And we do know that we're going to get pictures, and the set is officially going to be revealed on September 23rd. So if you're not subscribed yet, this would be a good time to do so, uh, so you don't miss the latest on this UCS, Razor Crest, and so much more. Uh, this is definitely going to be based on the very first episode, similarly to, well actually, that Razor Crest wasn't, uh, but similar in vain to the Playscale Razor Crest. This one's just going to have... Uh, the minifigures are definitely going to be more geared towards that first episode. We have Mando in his brown uh, Durasteel armor. Uh, we're going to have Grogu in uh, his shell bassinet. And we're going to have a Mithril with a new mold. 
Queel, both these figures, but we haven't, I don't know if we've gotten a leaked Mithra. We've gotten Zone who did a custom that put out, um, but we have gotten a leaked Queel and say what you will about that figure, I do think. Uh, yeah, and then Queel is going to have a brick built Blurg, kind of like a micro fighter type Blurg, that's what I've heard. Um, and yeah, it's just going to have those four minifigures and be this massive scale. Uh, it's not going to sit on a stand like it's most uh, UCS. It's going to have the landing gears and it's going just going to rest on those. And it's just going to have a stickered plaque uh, and tell you all the details. It's going to be really detailed on the interior like you would expect with the race crest interior exterior. It's going to cover every little fine detail. Uh, this big scale allows them to do that. And so uh, you can expect that. Uh, I can't wait to for uh, the pictures to drop in a couple week, about a week. Um, let me know what you think. Are you excited for those pictures to drop? See what the set is gonna look like. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, you're gonna like this video over here. And I will see you in the next video.